Might not feel like it, but spring arrives tonight, and before you know it, it's going to be summer. So now is the time to start planning if you want to send your child to summer camp, since many camps are filled already or close to it. It's also coming to the tail end of hiring season if you have a teenager who might want to work for a camp. The executive director of the American Camp Association New York and New Jersey, Alicia Scovera, is here with what you need to know to get process started. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Cindy. Thanks now, for having me. One of the great things about New York and New Jersey, so many different types of camps, so but many. how do parents narrow it down? What a great question. There are so many different camps, and for every child, we like to say that there is a camp out there. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you want to do is really consider your child's interests and what you think might work for them. So you could start with a day or an overnight camp. If a child hasn't been away from home before or is really nervous, you might want to consider day camp first. If you're not sure, you can always contact us at ACA New York and New Jersey, and we have an in-house specialist to be able to find help you find the right camp for your child. And that is so helpful because you guys know about all the different camps Absolutely. and really investigated them. And the service is free as well. It, yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> all right, now once parents find a camp they like, what specific things should they look for? So the first is the ACA accreditation mm. symbol. That's really a parent's best evidence that the camp cares about health and safety, but at a very, at, at the minimum, uh, you want to choose a camp that is regulated through the Department of Health. A lot of parents don't always understand that. You want to get to know uh, what the philosophy and the mission of the camp is. You want to feel comfortable with the camp director. And you want to ask them questions about what they do about safety issues. Mm as well. Now what advice do you have for teenagers who are looking to get a job at a camp? Well first camps are still hiring and mm. they probably will be continuing to hire. It is a great first job. They get to practice problem solving skills, leadership skills, they get to continue to practice independence from their family and you get to make a difference in the life of a child. If you're 16 or over you can work at a day camp, 18 plus at an overnight camp and this this year, New York State just passed a new law where they're now allowed to hire lifeguards who are also 15 years oh, old. Oh, okay. All right, some children are nervous going to camp, especially if it's their first time. So any tips for parents to make the transition easier? Totally. The first thing is it's totally natural for kids to be nervous as it would be trying something new for the first time. So you want to maybe watch the camp video together. You want to reassure the child that, they be that you believe that they're going to be successful and if that isn't doesn't work you can ask the camp to help you too lots of camps have open houses you can go visit the camp for the first time with your child maybe they'll introduce you to a division leader or, or possibly other new campers that are coming in so that way when a child gets off the bus they're seeing somebody that they recognize for the first time so much yes. great advice also make sure you talk with uh, other families yes. uh, maybe other kids who have been to camp before that might also help that's what that's how I found my camp my, one of my best friends she goes to this camp so then we went to that camp so <laughs> that works very well thank you so much for sharing all these wonderful tips I know it can be a stressful time for parents doing this thank you Cindy. all right we'll be right back